You guys far away. Joe, do you have anything to say to the fans here? Oh, of course, man. I, I like to apologize really about uh, to my fans, Hayden Nation, uh, the Cleveland Browns organization, the front office, all the coaches. Um, I, heard, I heard a lot of people. I heard myself for sure, but I heard a lot of people with a decision I made. And uh, I just want everybody to know I'm sincerely, uh, I really sincerely apologize. Um, from the bottom of my heart, it's no script. Nobody tells me what to say. I just really uh, feel that, and I want everybody to know that uh, it was it's a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes, but my mistake uh, happened to hurt a lot more people than I would have thought. Joe, how, how tough are these four weeks been for you, being away and not being able to help? And it's been real tough. I mean, you know, this being able to have, have time to yourself, being able to just reflect, being able to chill with your family, but nothing's like uh, being out here to play with my boys on Sunday. Uh, just missing being in the locker room. I came in today, early first thing. I was probably one of the first people in here just to just be around the dudes, just say go to see my equipment people, just holler at the um, coach, all the coaches, just tell them I missed them, and I just was happy that everybody was happy to see me. How difficult was it to watch the games on Sundays? Man, I, I one thing about it is uh, the, being watching it, just being able to sit there and watch the games is way different than play, being out there playing. I see what the fans see, like all the replays and how the games could just have your stomach. Because sometimes, like when I'm when I'm playing the game, when the offense is on, I'm sitting down. I'm trying to get corrections for the defense. I'm not really being able to be into it like that. But when you see every snap from every angle, it's just a whole different look. And uh, I didn't like that look at all. I wanted people out there playing, but it was totally different. Girl, could you explain why you why you uh, violated the policy? Which you uh, it was, explain no, what happened? It was just it's just a, just a mistake. Uh, just a very dumb mistake, and uh, it wasn't in any intent to hurt anybody, hurt the team, hurt anybody in that kind of way. It was just a young man making a decision I shouldn't have made. Do you think the penalty was excessive? God, do I? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, 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 it's written. I mean, it's in there, it's in there, and I need to definitely, I should have been more uh, knowing what's going on, but uh, I, I, I've served, I've definitely served my four-game suspension, everything is up. And I, I honestly just want to move forward and just come out here and play. Joe, could you imagine, though, that your loss for those four weeks and the tremendous uh, domino effect that it had in the second year, could you imagine that it would have been that significant? 